simple. I had to conceive the message from the Lord because God always speaks to the heart. Who has the heart? A woman. A heart is a point of contact, not the mind. It is the point of contact for who? For God. And this heart is found in a woman. A place of obedience is called a woman. And as God is speaking, since it cannot see, hello? Since the heart cannot see, it doesn't have eyes, it to send a message to the mind to see certain pictures. If they say you're an international makeup artist, you're seeing yourself painting a rehani. Why? The message has been sent to the mind. To who? The head. So therefore, for that message to become flesh, remember the Bible says, the word shall become flesh. For that word to become flesh, you need the presence of man. You need a man. How many of you are lost? <laughs> you need the presence of a man. This is the principle of manifestation. The spirit, number one. Two, the flesh. From the flesh to the spirit, from the spirit to the material, which is the manifestation. Therefore, God is spirit. He will speak to the heart, which is contained in a woman. That's why for any man or woman to succeed, they need to have the nature of a woman. You like it or not, I'm called the wife of Christ. And I'm a man. And God cannot be a lesbian, okay? It's a lie. So by nature, I carry that mentality of a woman. That's why women are attention seekers. Give them attention, they will love you. The same way with God. We crave attention from God. You cry, you hit yourself, you go and fast. What are you looking for? Attention from God. So I'm a woman. Now, when that message is conceived, it will be taken to the mind for analyzation. Now, imagine the mind has not rested. It's not peaceful. And then that message is sent. You have wrong images. And remember, wrong obedience who always produce wrong results. Even in the kingdom of darkness, if you want to be, um, I don't know what you call them, Freemasons, they give them certain conditions. Go and sleep with ten virgins, then you'll make it in life. So, in his own power, he will carry out that task. Why? Obedience has the power to manifest life. Like I said, the manifestation from the spirit to the flesh. What is that flesh? The mind. Because the mind is always connected to this. To the flesh. It is the center of the soul. A center of emotions. A seat of emotions. Therefore, the devil cannot go to your heart. It goes to where? To your mind. So women are protected. Because the heart is the point of contact for God. A man is in danger. Always in pursuit for the devil to swallow him away from the truth. Imagine as a woman who has the heart, since you want life to keep on flowing, to keep on flowing, how much more are you going to pray? You say, Father, preserve him. Preserve him. Preserve him. Preserve him. Sometimes a man can be your job. Because that's your destiny. Sometimes a man can be a change. You are running ministry. Sometimes a man can be family. All these are blind. Now what will happen after she has conceived the message? Action. Now you cannot carry out the task if you've not understood, you go to Zenako, they give you a contract. And you're saying, ah, since it's Zenako, you know, I work for them. They are there. It's 10 big, I work for them. 
you have not gone through and understood. The next thing you discover yourself in the toilet, then you'll be like, but I signed the contract. You didn't read. You didn't study and understand. That's why the word says, study to show yourself approved. Jesus said, you have ears, you hear, quite right, but you do not understand. You have eyes, quite right, you see, but you do not perceive. The perceiving part is what I call obedience. The understanding part is what I call obedience. If she had understood that she's supposed to go to the UK and do this task, she will reach in the UK and do exactly that. When the mission is done, she'll go back to say, I'm done. Okay, come back. Simple. Now we tend to complicate things because we've messed up this. Another example that I'll give. Please make stand. I want three people to come. Look to your neighbor as a neighbor. What do they say? If you are seated alone, please find your neighbor. Even the Bible says, how can one keep warm without a neighbor? Three. I want three people. Two more. Don't worry, it's not about falling. Ah, there's something I want to show.
As long as you are in fellowship, they will obey you because they are your servants. If you are no longer in fellowship, they will remain there and there will be vacancy there. Then these angels will look up to Satan. Hello? They will look up to Satan and to Satan. This one wants marriage. Then the devil, this is the agent of darkness. Whatever, if your marriage was in darkness, the devil with his authority will command the demons. He can't move from his ranking. I love what Carol said. There is protocol. Hello? So, if the devil commands the demons to come and loose her marriage, it will happen. Then, she will see the results. Why? Because in her nature, she's obedient. In his nature, God is love. Now, what happens when you disobey? You move. And stand here. Now, your rank goes from being next to God to being last from the devil. It's not drinking that caused Adam to sin. It is disobedience. It moved Adam out of the position. Everything that was for him in the garden became against him. That's why demons are against you. You are too disobedient. Now 
a demon cannot be chimzimu, kampozo, wapika. Hey, you know, uh, wana kumunzi. No, it can be human beings around you. You know, if somebody is supposed to bless, remember, lions are not meant to eat us. We are supposed to have companionship with lions. Remember when Adam was given a test, sir? The Bible says, let me test this guy and see if he's going to find a suitable help for him. What happened? He caught the animals. God didn't call the animals that Adam can give them names. He called the animals to Adam that he may find a partner. Now look at what Adam did. He started giving names. This one is a lion. This one is a cheetah. This one is a snake. Identity. Identity. Now for you, anyone that comes in your life, he's mine! He's mine! He's mine! Whatever job that comes in your life, it is mine! It is mine! It is mine! You've missed the mark somewhere. You're supposed to give that identity. To say, this job has not come to make me stay and work permanently. It has just come to sustain me for two weeks. After two weeks, leave. Now, what was supposed to be meant for two weeks? <laughs> One year. Retirement. Someone is getting your retirement fee. In a single day. When it's not supposed to be your portion. Back to sender. Now, when you disobey, you move to this place. Now, God becomes lonely. There's no one to talk to. He looks at the angels worshipping. No, I need my first love. I need my reap. God becomes lonely. Who are you to make God lonely? God becomes lonely. I need my companion. I need my companion. He didn't say, let me make angels in my own image. But rather he said, let us make man in our image. So, in as much as Adam gave identity to the animals, also God gave the kind to his own, who is a man, not animals, not angels, not everything, but man. I'm going to be lonely. You asked for marriage, okay? Ask for it, ask for a job. Time comes. Since God is not a God of repentance when it comes to gifts, His gifts are without repentance. When He has given an angel to say, Deliver to this one, the job, the job will be put there. Mm. But you are not there. You are here. Therefore, even when you cry, you fast, you pray. These are the answers you need to say, why did I pay Taylor? I've prayed, I've fasted, you know, I've gone to different mentors, to different coaches, but still nothing is working out. My friend, you are behind the Satan. You are here. Your job remains. Then, move it. Move it. Then you keep crying. Since God is in darkness, he sees. He will see you crying. Then remember, the Son of Man, who is the Son of God, makes intercession for you. As he's making intercession for you to say, come back, you lost sheep. That's his ministry, to bring back the lost. That's his ministry. So where he is, he'll be like, I miss my wife. God, I miss my wife. We are the bride of Christ, remember? I miss her. Where is she? Where is he? He looks at the job. Sis, remember when I said the glory will bring a lot of people to your salon? You remember? Exactly. There's no one coming to him. There's no one through your experience. There's no one being transformed through what you've been through. But rather men are getting hurt instead of them healing. It is there. Then God keeps crying. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Now, the question is, are you going to blame God? Or are you going to blame yourself? Look to your neighbor wholeheartedly. You're not 
be looking at your neighbor and what you've disobeyed though. You are here. <laughs> Ask them, neighbor, whom are you blaming for the situation? This is the concept that Adam missed. Adam, why are you? This woman you gave me. Mm -mm. It was an error. He had a part to play. Therefore, in life, never blame anyone but yourself. So after that, an angel will be here. Now, you've left the ministry of angels. And angels are ministering spirits. Spirits that are supposed to minister to you when you are broken. When you are lucky. Now you enter into a season of poverty. And if you are a pastor, like me, I was here, casting out the rose, I was telling Angel Michael, beat this one. And he was doing that. This time around, whom are you going to tell? The demonic forces. That's why they will look at you and say, get back behind me. You Satan. Demons begin to call you Satan. <laughs> Instantly, what comes in? The spirit of poverty. So don't say spirit of poverty. Let me enlighten you today. The spirit of poverty is this. Me missing your place of identity. Missing the mark of identity. That's poverty. What does poverty do? It's like HIV. It will attack your immune system. And you become weak. You keep losing instead of getting. And remember, HIV is not found in the nose. It is found in the blood. What is found in the blood? Life. So when HIV is in the blood, it becomes dead. That's why if you are sick of HIV, I declare you healed in Jesus' name. Go back and check yourself. I'll be waiting for testimonies. Now, life carries is carried by the blood. Now, in this case, there is HIV. In this case, it is poverty. Your blood, where your DNA is, poverty. When you became poor, that you might become rich. When you disobey, you miss your place of identity. Not always about it. A woman in nature is designed to obey. A man in nature is designed to love because he is the love. A woman is obedience. There is no love without obedience. There is no obedience without love. Love is always attracted to obedience. Are you getting me? Tell your neighbor, neighbor, we are going back to the mark. The speed of obedience is coming upon me. Now what does poverty do? It attacks your eyes. You get everything clearly. To say, I know all these things, but how come you are not using your knowledge to advantage? Knowledge becomes a curse in your life. Grace at this point becomes a curse to you. Because of the disobedience. You are there. You can't cast out a devil. When witches come, they will, they will even massage your feet. <laughs> in your own house. Under your own roof. In your own bed. Try it. So once it attacks your eyes, because without vision, people perish. Your vision becomes blurred. So if you are not sure about your vision, if you are not sure, you are not clear. No, I carry the spirit of poverty. You need to come here with delivery. Now, poverty carries four spirits within it. One, the spirit of lust. You begin to lust after the desires of the flesh. Things that God cannot give, that's the things you want. They tell you, oh, you see what? Anyway, he's done, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Look at your neighbor wholeheartedly. And say, you're neighbor, by way. Neighbor. Come back to life in Jesus' name. <laughs> you've been dead for four days. Tell your neighbor, you've been dead for four days now. The resurrection has come. 
You are about to rise. You are about to come out from the grave. Okay? If you are not sure about your vision, please, oh, man of God, that's why you are anointed, oh. First, pull that out of them. The spirit of lust. Some of you, because of lust, like me, because of lust, it's a testimony. I used to masturbate a lot. Five times in one minute. Yeah. I'm proud of it. And next thing tomorrow morning, you see me preaching to people. Then I'm like, God, I can't be standing here with that thing. Then he reminds me, my grace is sufficient for you. And today, I'm a free man. Poverty. Poverty is gone and jar. Remember, there was a message that was being taught somewhere to say, in the garden, everything, even food was provided. What was supposed to be done by man? Just looking at, oh, this one is in all down. I love bosses, eh? I, are there bosses, CEOs here? You know? This is not them. Hmm? Blend them again. My car. Please bring, bring my car. Can you bring my car? Now, block in English. Bring my car. Yeah, boss. <laughs> Poverty. If you're in the garden, in the field, in the mark of identity, provision is sub supernatural. Second, I've talked about I've talked about luck. What I was talking about, you begin to lack the speed of luck. You just don't have enough. Even if you have enough, you feel you don't have enough. There's a speed of poverty haunting you. I'll explain. Three. Pride. What is pride? You close an ear. You say, I know these things. You can't teach me anything. Just to be safe. Sometimes even babies speak to you, but we all don't pay attention. If a donkey could speak to a prophet, a donkey became a prophet to a prophet. What more your own child? I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. He didn't say on adults. But rather David, snakes, dogs. So pay attention, even a dog can speak to you. But you be not paying attention. Speed of God. Pride. It is pride that made the devil fall. So you begin to say, all of a sudden, people running away from your life. They are leaving you to say, ah, someone there, I want to come to blind. Just for pride has entered you. Which is a sign of poverty in your life. You can be wealthy with billions of dollars and yet the poorest person in the world. Number four, the spirit of envy. Resentful behavior towards having someone's property. Not just material things, but also things that are not seen. Someone just looks like this. Ah, no, it's there. Even you start talking this. <laughs> no, you're filled with poverty. Why? You've missed the mark <laughs> of identity because of your disobedience. You are here. That's why you need to tell this demon. They'll keep feeding you in your dreams. This one, it's their job. After they've been done that, they've done that, they'll go back to the devil. And not to Modi Chef Sash, which will teach you not. Not to Modi Chef Sash. 